Hello everyone! In my previous videos I have made several French recipes inspired by Julia Child. In these videos I compared various cooking methods to see which one has a better flavor, is more time efficient and more convenient. By request of my subscribers today I'm making another famous French dish called French onion soup which is also inspired by Julia Child's recipe. As you know, I'm a big fan of simple and fast cooking, using modern appliances such as Instant Pot and Air Fryer. I will try to make this amazing French onion soup using Instant Pot and compare it to more traditional method of cooking the soup in the Dutch oven. I'm very curious to see which option is better, tastier and easier. I will also slightly modify the original recipe to simplify it a bit without sacrificing the taste. So by the end of this video you'll learn how to make this amazing French onion soup in the instant pot and Dutch oven. Onion soup is ultimate comfort food for any time of the year. You can find a list of ingredients in the description of this video. As you can see I have all the necessary ingredients here for the pressure cooker and Dutch oven. Step number one. Caramelizing onions. Start by cutting your onions. I have quite a few onions to cut, so let's make sure we are using the right strategy to minimize onion tears. Well, first you can cut onions outside, if such option is available. Also, you can chill your onions in the fridge or under cold water before cutting. Make sure you have a very sharp knife. I'm slicing onions parallel to the root. Let's start with instant pot. Now start your instant pot on sauté mode. Melt one quarter stick of butter and then add sliced onions. Turn off the sauté function, set instant pot to high manual pressure for two minutes. After two minutes cycle is over, keep it for another two minutes and do a manual release. Now turn instant pot to sauté mode. Add one and a half teaspoon of salt and one quarter teaspoon of brown sugar. Cook for 10 minutes or until onions get golden brown color. Remember to stir in the process. Dutch oven. Heat up one quarter stick of unsalted butter, add sliced onions and cook on low medium for 25 minutes. Onions should reduce in size. Now raise the heat to medium high, add one and a half teaspoon of salt, one quarter teaspoon of brown sugar and cook for another 30 minutes or until onions are golden brown color. Caramelizing onions in Instant Pot is a super convenient feature, which allows to save significant amount of time. Remember to subscribe to my channel, so you don't miss my weekly cooking inspiration. Step number two. Soup preparation. Let's start with Instant Pot. Leave Instant Pot on saute mode and stir in two tablespoons of flour and one quarter stick of butter. Cook it for three minutes. Stir it well in the process. It will give a soup a nice texture. Then add beef stock, red wine, bay leaves, thyme, salt and pepper to taste. Seal the lid, set instant pot for 8 minutes, at manual high pressure and do quick release at the end. When the dish is ready, add 3 tablespoons of cognac to bring more flavor. Now Dutch oven. Process is pretty much the same. Follow the same process of adding flour and butter and cook for 3 minutes. Then add beef stock, red wine, bay leaves, thyme, salt and pepper to taste. Bring to simmer on medium high, then simmer under the lid for another 30 minutes on low heat. When the dish is ready, add 3 tablespoons of honey. Soup cooking time is also quite a bit faster in a Step number 3. Serving. Normally you serve onion soup with French bread. Slice bread, put on the baking sheet, brush with some oil and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes on each side. Unfortunately, I forget to buy one, so I'm using store-bought Parmesan crisp as a nice substitute. Alternatively, you can also use croutons. 
So for the serving, add some grated Swiss Gruyere cheese. In the serving bowl, put a few Parmesan crisps and cover it up with a grated Parmesan cheese. Bake it in the oven on the metal tray on a broil setting, 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 to 10 minutes or until the cheese melts and turns slightly brown. You can serve it with chopped green scallions on top. As you can see, I'm doing a blind tasting. Both serving bowls are identical and I will ask my wife to try to figure out the difference in flavor, texture and taste. After a very demanding tasting, the conclusion was that soup is amazing, but the results of both cooking methods the difference in flavor, is the texture, same. Anything? Well, you hear it. So for this recipe my preference goes to Instant Pot, because it saves me about 30-35 to 35 minutes in cooking time. You should also check out my dessert recipes. As Julia said, a party without cake is just a meeting. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.